and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube that's watching this video later on for some more Grixis control. We played the 75 and did well with it earlier in the week, so we're going to be running it back in Mythic today on our Rank Up Sunday stream. Sorry, uh, that's you can see over here the R's, that means that we're playing the deck in Ranked. And that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be playing five matches here with Grixis Control and seeing how we do with it. So there's a couple of reasons why I think that Grixis Control can be a little bit better positioned right now than what it has been in the last couple of months. The The main thing that's been holding Grixis Control back, one of the main things is, of course, Esper. Where Esper just kind of has all the stuff that Grixis does, but also can deal with the, the hard permanents that Grixis can't, like the enchantments. And uh, Esper has just been overshadowing Grixis. However, right now, the most popular Esper version that people are playing is like BBD's Esper Hero deck. That's what a lot of people are, are playing that, that version. And that version is really has really been tailored towards beating Teamer Elementals and the Risen Reef decks, and not as much against the other control decks. And, uh, you know, with cards like tyrant scorn and uh, hostage taker being like big parts of that deck and i i wonder if grixis can can kind of take advantage of that also they're moved away from command the dread horde which is like the hardest card for grixis to beat and towards uh going towards the uh bolus of citadel which is just an artifact which grixis control can bedevil um and deal with a lot easier so yeah, I don't, I don't know. I think it could be in a decent spot. I also think Grixis Control is very good against the all the vampire decks that are running around these days. Um, I think we got a lot of good tools there against the, the vampire decks. And uh, it's just a, a pretty solid deck. So let's let's see how we do. Like I said, we did, did pretty good earlier in the week uh, with this specific 75. And so we're going to run it back. This 75, like I said before, was uh, built by... Um, somebody from Magic Online. This was a, a list that was published, uh, a five O list that was published earlier, I think around around July fifteenth ish, so about six days ago. Around then, and I liked a lot of the stuff that was going on here, so I'm gonna just play it again. <clears throat> the one card that I kind of, well, there's a few cards that I kind of miss, but one of them is miss. Wish we had some Legion's Ends in here, but we had two Cryo Carnariums and a Moment of Craving for. Uh, a Danto Vanguard, and hopefully that's enough. Um, but let's let's give this a try. Um, Grixis Control. I have it labeled here as version two because because it's that other version. But good old Grixis Control. All right, head on over to ranked. So far, so good. Gruel Midrange had a great showing. It looked really impressive there over in Mythic. So good start to the day, and we'll play five matches again here. We did a poll um, between the leagues for how, how many wins people thought they were going to get, and basically everybody voted either two, three, or four wins. So we'll see if we can get to five. All right, Terminal Land War Elf means that we're going to be hopefully drawing Ritual of Soot. Or Cry of the Carnarium. There's the Soot. All right, we got to take Cavalier of Thorns. That's going to be a tough one to beat. So I need, I need a second blue source for Chandra. So I guess I just keep this. Or sorry, second red source. Sorry, I just said the wrong color, but second red for Chandra. I guess we just keep that. We're going to need another land anyway. So this is the key turn here. Do they draw something really good to play here? I am certainly hoping not. This is the turn that, that we're just hoping we get to dodge. You know, no Nissa, nothing like that. Hopefully, we just get because obviously we're going to be ritual sitting next turn. Just trying to dodge. I wouldn't mind. Like they can play Krasis, That's fine. Krasis is fine. No, that is 
that's a bad sign when they tap like that. That's that's like that's Nissa basically. Please no Nissa. Okay, that's fine. So yes, I could do two damage to them, but we're a control deck. The two damage isn't really that important. I'm going to get just another counter on this Chandra, so we can, you know, we can minus a couple of times. As the reason why Chandra's in here, it's all about this minus. You know, like we can recast Thought Erasures and all that kind of stuff. Well, Cavalier of Thorns is a rough one. Hmm. So I can play Dragon God and kill it. But if I do that, then they can they just go put Nissa back on top and then Nissa kills my Dragon God. Is that really that bad? Yeah, that's probably bad. Yeah, I could put both walker I could I could play Dragon God and tick up and have both walkers at six loyalty. Fire spreads fast with help. That's not really helping me that much either. I want to be able to Dragon God minus. If I do that, they just, you know, hit hit the Dragon God for five if they have if they have an so that'd be really bad. Hmm. Not good. I'm telling the abbots. Maybe I should have just thought erasured. And just let Chandra die and just thought erase her. Maybe I should have just done that last turn. Yep, certainly a tough spot here. These cards that we have are not going to be able to get this done. Let's look for something else. I will return. Cavalier Thorns is definitely a rough one. Fire spreads fast with help. Again, I can't I can't kill Cavalier Thorns still because because mass manipulation. Ugh, that was a not a card that. We really wanted to see after that Ritual of Soot. I was feeling good about this. Man, they're playing so many of this card. This card is so good. Our opponent's super smart. Too smart. Too thin. Too good looking for us. We can't, can't handle triple Cavalier of Thorn.
Cavalier Thorn's so good. I have other schemes to attend to. Uh, nothing anymore. We don't. I don't have any outs anymore. Hey, what's up, Mad Cow? All right, they got us. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. All right. Definitely really like disdainful stroke. I need water. I could see Command the Dread Horde actually like working out for us though, honestly. Yeah, let's play those. Thanks, Ferith. Thanks for the sub there. All right, this is what we're going with. Uh, Gruel's not up on YouTube yet. Maybe about 20 minutes. Yeah, Chandra's helpful later on, not necessarily immediately. <clears throat> that is a... That's a consideration for a cut. I think I like Chandra more than Narset, though. All right, let's try to hit land drops. Our opponent playing millions of Cavalier Thorns. Very, very good against us. That's not something that you normally see with the Teamer decks, but very good choice. Cards scarier than Nyssa. Just saying something. But I would... <laughs> Cavalier is more effective against us than this is. So casting Thought Erasure at that point just allows them to use their two mana on the negate. I can maybe wait and be able to do a little better than that. Now we got double thought erasure. Swift Water Cliffs. Just a cliff of fast water. Spark will be 
mine. Our opponent did not draw very well this game, so far at least. My Ow. Never mind. They drew pretty well. <laughs> Yeah, Aura Devastation would be a good a good sweeper, but the pro kind of the problem with Aura Devastation, though, is it wouldn't kill these six toughness things. Like, it doesn't get rid of Tamiyo, Nissa. you know, if they tick up immediately, the Cavalier Thorns. Chandra, you need more control. Maybe I should have done this instead of play the bolus. Would have been able to take a fry. Remember this one? Focus? I just want to burn stuff already. Definitely want the Dragon God. I think I want this land too, though. Land it obviously gives me seven mana to be able to flip Ravager. They drew really bad there. Drew like only lands and a fry like the whole game. So, well, let's get dressed. So, Cry of the Carnarium probably doesn't kill anything except for Land or Elf and, and uh, Risen Reef. Probably doesn't kill anything else. So, I'm just going to get rid of that. We saw the Ritual of Suds. So, we got we have our three sweepers with Ritual of Suds because those actually kill like Leaf Kin Druid and uh, the Nissa lands and stuff like that. And I'm going to play a Duress, especially with them having cards like Negate, Fry, all that kind of stuff. They're going to have a lot of interaction. So we'll have the get an extra Duress to help other cards resolve. Wouldn't be surprised to see them have Veil of Summer, of course, also. Yeah, I should have all the Noxious Grass in the deck. I should, as far as I know. That's a good draw. We're going to have a slow hand here. Yeah, Ian Ray, uh, easiest place for a donation deck is whenever you donate, simply, whenever you donate, simply just put the link link to the deck in with the donation. Just tell me, like, what day to play the deck, which time slot, first, second, third, or fourth, and send me a link to the deck, and I will oblige. Hmm. Not an ideal time to draw a Ravager.
I guess I should be doing that during upkeep. In case of Veil of Summer. Where can you link the deck to? Oh, easy place to, to put it up is on is on MTG Goldfish. That's an easy. Yeah, you can either do cheer mad cow or you can just use my donation link. Uh, there's. Um, if you just go to the info panel, there's a, a big banner that says donate. You just click that and just it just goes through PayPal. So you don't have to get bits. Um, So that'd be that'd put me down to three if I do all of these. That's probably not worth it. Do I go to five and not get Leaf Kindred? Or do I go to nine and not get Chandra? Probably five and no Leaf Five no Leaf Kindred. There goes my Cantus. Hope it's not too hot for you. My plan last turn was to play Nicol Bolas the Ravager, and then whenever they coil my Nicol Bolas, I was going to Tyrant Scorn and pick it back up. That, like, was my plan. <laughs> All right, so we're not dead to Nissa. We got the Ravager to block. Certainly have to be worried about um, the pain the cold bolas will resonate throughout the multiverse. Mm. Honestly, it's just better just to get rid of one of their things. Make them exile something here. No! We have to be just a tad worried about Omnath, but not no too worried. I cannot Hope it's not too hot for you. In case it's land Nissa, I gotta have a blocker, because this doesn't kill Nissa. I mean, it doesn't kill the, the blocker. I mean, I guess it would 
It would put us to four, though, because the gain, gain of life. Okay. They have both of those cards. All right, good start for Grixis. That looked like that was gonna be rough after the first, after the uh, first one, after the first game. Hey, I love me with the Twitch Prime sub. Well, I love you too. Thank you so much for that support there. I appreciate that. That's sub number seven on the day. All right, we are working our way towards that first sub goal. I already reached your projected win total. You went with the one win. All right, so yeah, got a win on the first one. We're playing five matches, five win dreams still alive. Good call. Ugh, Mulligan. Not really better. Down to five. Still not really better. I mean, like, the thing is, like, we probably need Ritual of Soot, because we're going to be, like, really behind here. But obviously, obviously, we don't have the black mana yet, but we are going to be really behind. It's possible I just have to get rid of both of these. I guess Seal of Thought or Azure or Kefnet, but yeah, let's, let's get rid of both of those. Well, glad we kept Ritual set. Ow. Need a lot more black mana. I wouldn't mind basic swamp. Here at all. Yeah, Feather's a good one. It's a good deck. Hey, boop. Oh. It's not a good... It's not a... Good chance that, oh yeah, good call. That the next card was going to be a land anyway. So good call, get rid of those things. Still not a land though. It's unfortunate. We just got to hope they have God's willing and not the indestructible thing. Ugh. Ian, there's the donation link. Tuesday, third slot. It, it sure is. Perfect. Yep, every, basically every slot's available. So, Awesome. Thank you, Ian. I'll play that on Tuesday. This is such a tough call. Thanks, Ian. I 
We're not necessarily dead here. Could be. We only have two basics in the deck, so it's not like it's very likely that we're getting a basic. Alright, well, that certainly makes it seem like we're going to be dead. So they have a shock in hand. Well, good thing we didn't... If we would have graveyarded it, we would certainly be dead. We would have drawn that Thought Erasure last turn. Which would not have done anything. Well, they scried four cards to the bottom. We know they have all the God's Willings in the world. Bleh. Alright, all the Duresses, the Negates, the Noxious Grasps. Um, contempt. All right, gonna try all, getting putting all these things in. Definitely getting rid of command, getting rid of enter. Hmm. Cry. I mean, they they probably have war boss after sideboard, which is like the only thing Cry of the Carnarium does is get rid of war boss efficiently. I think it's just Chandra and Narset. It's definitely Narset. And I think it's also Chandra. I do like Ascanta. I guess it's it's whether or not I want to play one cry over in Ascanta. Or one Chandra over one Escanta and go one Escanta, one Chandra. Moment of Craving doesn't seem spectacular. Is Chandra better than Moment of Craving? Yeah, I'm going to go Chandra over the Moment of Craving. Um, oh, they could have a Danto, couldn't they? Crap, I forgot about a Danto. No, I definitely forgot about a Danto. Oh, no. I definitely have, like, nothing for a Danto now. Especially cutting that Moment of Craving. Oh, uh, that card's going to kill me. Yeah, that card's going to kill me. Um, anyway, to answer your question, Legend, or, uh, Animusha, I, I am not really opposed to main deck. Uh, we gotta take a Danto if they have it. I'm not really opposed to main deck, uh, Noxious Grasp, honestly. It is good against almost everything right now. I agree, it's good against basically everything. So yeah, I'm not not opposed to that at all. All right, one feather down. Another feather down. So we can either go Noxious Grasp and then counter the God's Willing. 
Or I just play Nicol Bolas. I guess I don't get a really block with that, do I? No, we're gonna do this. That makes their defiance. If I go Nickel Bull as the Ravager, it makes their defiance strike really good. If I would have done that last turn. Yeah, and it's possible they had Reckless Rage too. They would have killed Ravager, which would have been bad. So obviously th this is just trading because this this turns this into a four three. But with me having as can't I do want to trade? This certainly gets worse if they find God's willing or indestructible thing. But at least that turns on a removal spell for us though. Removal spell. Darn. Not at Vanguard. No. Yeah, I think our opponent's got this one. Yep, they got it. I need Cry the Carnarium, but it's not in my deck. Darn. Cool game. I I didn't sideboard perfectly there. I forgot about Vanguard. I did. But yeah, opponent also drew really, really well. They drew very well. Ugh. No. No help from their draw steps. Alright, one and one. Five win dream is is dead, but we we're still we're still at it. Oh, no, I thought it... Oh, I cut that too fast. I thought one of these was a watery grave. Well, let's see how lucky we can get. I have Cry of the Carnarium in the main deck and in the sideboard. I sideboarded it out, that matchup. That's what I was talking about. If y'all missed the sideboarding.
for those of y'all that are asking about that. There is one in the main deck. And there's another one in the sideboard. So this is not really the kind of Esper that we like to be playing against, if we had to choose an Esper version. The all the Search for Escanta version, not really what we want to, to face. Search for Escanta in particular is just a that's a really tough card for us to beat. But we got a hand that could probably do it. Like right now we're we're definitely ahead with these Nickel Boluses to their Teferis. However, we'll see how this Escanta treats them. Thank me later. That's more like it. I thought they were going to be bouncing there as Kanta there. I was like, what? Um, I don't think there's really one particular deck that's on top of the food chain in, in the standard metagame right now. Which is a good spot to be. Of course. You know your spells are instant speed, right, opponent? Let's try this. I have a few openings for more minions, if you're interested. I guess I could bounce Ascanta with Dragon God if we draw a Thought Rager. What are the decks on top? Just uh, these ones. Looks like Vampires, Esper, Simic Flash, John Dinos. Teamer, definitely. Teamer looks like got split up a little bit here. So yeah, Teamer Elementals. Let your weak minds crumble. Hmm. Didn't take Narset. Narset would stop me from drawing multiple cards with Dragon God. Another time, Planeswalker. That's unfortunate. Here goes nothing. That's the, the thing about the really Planeswalker heavy version that we're playing. They're just playing main deck Elder Spell, which isn't good against a lot of the metagame these days, but it's definitely good against me. And the reason why they're able to get away with it is because they can they have all these other Planeswalkers that they want to uh, just destroy their own to be able to pump up their Teferi. <laughs> I don't think Dracuseth is... Uh, gonna make Gruel Arc Bow. And their seven mana is just. I think that's a little bit too much. The donate button? Uh, here, it's also. Here's the, the link also here. Um, if you don't see the, the panel down below. But there you go. That's, that's the link to the donate. Yeah, I love. I had I definitely had fun playing a Johnny Life Gain deck whenever we were playing it before. Played it a couple, played it a couple of times. I really like that new Planeswalker, the new Johnny Planeswalker. It's it's a fun card to play. It's um. 
decks the it's how do I say it? It's impossible to know what will be good after rotation right now. Decks are gonna look a lot different. I've the fall set that. is always a big um it's always a big uh factor. Like it usually it always has a big impact on what the the metagame looks like after sad. rotation. In exchange for eternal servitude. You know, our, our mana bases are going to have to be built a little different, which will affect X. My schemes are never ending. I would be surprised if fairies will be good after rotation. Because from what we were told, fairies is not a big. A it's not actually a, a real big uh, part of the set. I know. It's just like a, it's a very. It's a small. It's a small theme. Not so fast. Rotation happens once a year. It happens whenever. It happens with the fall set once a year. Hmm. If that if that was a blue source, I would have kept that on top because a blue source meant we would have been able to play Narset and. Nickel Bolas, but it was not a blue source. Minusing the Narset is kind of a waste, because I'm just going to draw that Nickel Bolas. I'm just going to take the Nickel Bolas. I guess I should do it, though. Meditate and prepare. I mean, I suppose I could take Bedevil, but Bedevil doesn't do a ton. I mean, it's, it's Dragon God. Hey, Mad Cow, there you go. Okay, tomorrow, yep, sec slot number two. All right, I got you. No, I am not For a Gruel Dino deck, cool. There you go, thanks, Mad Cow. Yep, I'll play that tomorrow. Hurry. No, Drackey Seth does not trigger with Ilharg, no. No, Mark Rosewater doesn't lie whenever he, he's talking about like the different stuff. He's not doesn't lie about Home stuff. Prowess. I'm at fourteen. Right, I don't know exactly what we're getting, but we're playing this thing. So three eight twelve. All right, down to two. If you show remorse, I'll show I am one again. Conceivable. I outsmarted you eons ago. I've done the hero thing before. So we gotta just keep on taking up this nickel bolus, make them exile stuff all the time. Got it. That's our that's our way of beating this as Kanta. No time for a break. Don't worry, I got this. I 
do want more blue mana. Here we go. Hmm. I guess I should kill their Teferi so their Teferi can't tuck. And of course we have instant speed thought erasure, so we'll wait till their draw step. Oh wait. They have Teferi, I can't instant speed. No Oath of Kaya. Good game. I need to destroy their Tef their little Teferi. I forgot that I couldn't <laughs> couldn't instant speed. I was like, okay, well I get to instant speed now. So we're safe. No, we were not safe. Okay, so let's get Noxious Grasps. All right, so <clears throat> the th biggest regret there with the the Command the Dread Horde. One, I forgot about Othakaya. And two, I, I should not have taken their little Teferi. I should have just taken my two things, stayed at five life. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Yeah, weekends have been really good for viewers here. Over a thousand viewers again here. Welcome everybody. So some of y'all are saying punt. What what was the what was the specific punt that y'all think that I that I did there? So like why are you, for those of you that are doing the exclamation point punt thing? What was the punt? I know there were definitely decisions. Like I already talked about the decisions that I wish I made differently, but what was the what's the thing that y'all are saying was a punt? Like too many cards here. <sighs> Darn it, I shouldn't have been paying attention there. I should have kept sideboarding. It did not I did not sideboard in time. It started getting a little a little laggy there, like when I was trying to click on stuff too fast. So we have a whole bunch of really bad cards still in our deck. But I I got turn two as Cantus, so I'm gonna be keeping this. not killing little Teferi. So you think I should have killed little Teferi and then let them get let them minus their big Teferi. Alright, as Kanta and Chandra, we got two really good cards. Open mind. The focused and disciplined. You don't, don't worry. No I brought company. Reckless and ill refined. Really hope they don't have Elder Spell. Really hope they no Elder Spell.
I did not minus Narset because I don't want to like grab Nicol Bolas with the Narset and then it gets Thought, thought Erasured away. I'm going to try to get Nicol Bolas this turn here. Just hoping they don't don't have Elder Spell. Good. No Elder Spell. We got our fifth land. The and then there's Bolas. Perfect. Uh, I guess we need to kill their Narset. Say hi to my fiery friends. Uh, let's just do them both. You are a mighty warrior. I can see. I do that before we, so we can draw a card. Because otherwise, we wouldn't be able to draw a card. In my image. I will return. All right, still hoping no elder spell. They didn't have a last turn. I will return one day. Yeah, this will be uh, really fortunate if we get to win this game with having all of these dead cards still in our deck since I didn't sideboard. Will be your end. Only time will tell. When your bloodline witness a most of Put my power. Put thoughtfulness before action. Well, at least we got we got to uh, go for a while without before they found that. If you wish to surrender, meditate and prepare. I want to find Thought Erasure. Okay, well, there we go. All right, I'm not going to bring in the counter spells. Honestly, I, probably, I don't need all these Noxious Grass. We'll play like two. I'm going to definitely make sure I sideboard this time. Hmm. What are the other two cards I'm not going to have in here? These all look pretty good. So I want, I want Unmore to go for Big Teferi. Right, because I think their deck is really relying on Big Teferi. Getting that out of their deck. And I don't think that their deck's going to be too difficult to, to beat. Y'all think I cut Kefnets? How do they kill Kefnet, though? I could take out one, I suppose. I'm going to cut a Discovery and a Kefnet. I really like, no, I think Chandra is awesome. Not only can Chandra recast our discard spells, you know, now that we have seven discard spells um, and can recast Bedevil and stuff, but I think Chandra is really good at fighting Narset and Teferi, which, you know, like their deck's all built around Narset and Teferi and getting like those little 1-1s one fight, fights them really well. Oh, they're playing Command of the Dead Horde also. Mm. 
mind and body should hone your prowess. So the plan was War Boss, but War Boss dies to that Othakaya. And War Boss doesn't actually kill, him, like, buddy. lets them minus Narset again, or Chandra doesn't oh, die to Othakaya and doesn't let them minus Narset focused. anymore. So next turn I can go duress war boss. Oh, the last card's elder spell. That, that that's nice. I am not happy right now. Same. Keep an open mind. That was a really good turn for them. Not prepared for this. If you show remorse, I'll wow, show it's going with I'm the not ready for this quite yet. I'm not so sure that Tuck was the best idea. So we get the command out of here. And we get to kill Teferi. This is hardly my worst defeat. If they would have ticked up, then I would have been contempting Teferi and, and just attacking them. If they would have ticked up. Sorry I'm late. Let's take it back. I know 88 ways to defeat you. It's possible I should just be holding up Bedevil or Contempt, to be honest, instead of playing Narset. Because I can't even minus Narset, because I just I want the War Boss and, and Nicol Bolas for my next two draws, so I can't even minus. We're not really ahead here because this Kanta is, is so good. Yeah, they they bend the three mana to fairy because if they take three mana to fairy, they get rid of my they get rid of my one one, but they don't draw a card because of Narset, and then they know that I'm playing War Boss next turn and would have just killed their to fairy. Yeah, the, the three mana to fairy was not a good card here. Just the trick for this. As you see, my opponent didn't play Kasmina because I have Narset out. Because like if they go Kasmina and then they minus, they don't get to draw a card. They would just have to discard a card. So they would just have to discard their Liliana. Yeah, I'm glad we have all these goblins for Liliana. All right, two and one. <sighs> this is really annoying about the the mastery system. See, look at this. I got 40 gems because of some M20 mythic was the reward. But I already had four of that mythic. But there's a lot of mythics that I don't have four of. You know, because it just says, my reward was a mythic card. Why does it not, why does it just not give me a mythic that I, like, it gave me a mythic I already have four of. Give me a different mythic that I don't have four of. Yeah, I, I hate those 40 gems. I want, I want a mythic. They need to, yeah, they need to put duplicate protection in for this. That's not a good system there. 
no, it's not changed from the old system. Like the the packs still have duplicate protection, and everything. It's just they didn't they forgot to put the duplicate protection in for the mastery system. All right, so we'll have Bedevil, Kefnet, Nicobolus for our curve. Yeah, that'd be really nice if it was Mythic Wild Card. I don't expect that, but still, just give me a random one. Yeah, Kozar, this specific list I actually didn't make. Um, it was actually a 5-0 list that I, I liked how it looked, and so I played it, and it did well, and so I'm playing it again. But, uh, yeah, Big Chandra... Big Chandra's really good against other control decks, but kind of too slow against the other creature decks, and there are just so many creature decks running around. I'm honestly fine with the deck not having Big Chandra. Unfortunate that I'm just using this on the Aspirant, but I don't want them to flip the landing immediately. Because I'm, I'm tapping out the next two turns. Anyway. Uh, Alright, well. I have not survived millennia to stand down now. I should have just let them flip the landing. Join my crusade. Uh -huh. Than having a plan. Oh, they're so cute. I have other obligations. Hey, Ref. Hope you're having a good weekend. Yeah, I played some decks around Yurok. Uh, the main deck I played around Yurok was a deck called Sultai Cavaliers. I also had a Sultai Command the Dread Horde. Both very similar. Yeah, those are, that's what I really played around Yurok. Um, I'm sure I'll play more decks with Yurok. That's what I've done so far. Maybe I'm not cut out for this. Stop. I have to contain you, uncultured monster. I bestow a mighty curse. Wish we had more in the sideboard for this matchup, as I talked about with Legion's End. Don't really want Chandra or Narset. We're bringing in duress. Um, I'm assuming they're talking about with Soren combo. I'm assuming they're talking about Soren putting in Champion of Dusk and drawing a lot of cards. 
It was just too slow of a hand. What is going on here? What is going on? Well, they were definitely kept a hand those relying on that Soren. We need to draw two lands. Let's get to this Dragon God. Okay. Good. One more land. That's not good. I am proud to fight by your side. Heal. That's really not good. Looks like using Cry of the Carnarium would have been better. But, you know, I didn't obviously don't really know that at the time. Let your weak minds crumble. Another Ajani? Dang, that card's so good, though. I'm really glad they didn't tick up the Soren. If they tick up Soren, my Nickel Bulls would be dead. And I would not be able to kill that Vanguard at all. I'm still, like, very dead, but... My revenge will be painful. My schemes are never-ending. If only I would've... Not moment of craving the first time and just cry the carnarian with the Adanto. I I did not see them having multiple Ajani's in their hand, but if only I would have done that, then we would have you know our nickel bolus like would have been safe there, would have been able to minus kill this champion of dusk. Our life would certainly have been a lot better. I will lend you my strength. I'm having four planeswalkers and two champion of dusks time, planes, right away. It's kind of tough. Whenever we mold a five and just have a cry of the carnarium. Oh well. My bloodline flows through you.
All right, one more here with Grixis Control. Let's break the tie. Let's see if we can finish up with a 3-2 record. Which 3-2 which is a record that we'll certainly take each time a Mythic win in 60%. You do that every time, you, you were doing awesome. So let's get this win. Hmm. That'll be a mulligan. Ugh. Do we go to five? This hand's obviously not good, but we're on the draw and we have a lot of lands in our deck. We keep this. This obviously wasn't a very good hand, but five cards isn't spectacular either. Come on, draw, untap land. Oh, that'll do. So I got one moment, one cry in the main deck for Vanguard. And obviously we have the Ravager that can just block it. But we're going to need lands. Just three games in a row of us just getting run over. Certainly feels like we need some Legion's Ends in our sideboards or just more more answers to a Danto Vanguard. I think that's the one the one thing about our deck that uh, a big hole is a Danto Vanguard. You know, we have a couple of answers, but not enough, I don't think. Uh, no, I haven't, Slick Brick. We beat Feather earlier. So, I mean, we're not... We're not out of this. I think Legion's End is a whole lot better card than, than Disfigure. It's much more versatile and just a, a stronger card.
or how bad our hands have been looking with these mulligans. I'm just going to keep this. Hate all these shock lands, that's for sure. I have been more impressed with Naya Feather than Boros Feather in general. I have liked the Naya version. Uh, that's that's with playing against it. I have I have struggled a lot more against the Naya version playing against it than the than the Boros version. Why is shock in their deck still? Why do they want to shock? Yeah, Legion's Hen hits both the Hydras, hits Wild Growth Walker, the Vanguards, you know, like a bigger Steamkin. It hits Leafkin Druid. It's everything. It's against these scapeshift decks, it exiles all the zombies. You know, it's basically Cry of the Carnarium against the scapeshift decks. Can we draw a spell? Five draws, five lands. You have no Hooray. weakness I cannot exploit. Yeah, you know, last game we couldn't draw a land to save our life. This game it's literally every single draw steps a land. Alright, so the Ravager's dead. They get to just shock the Ravager, attack with both their creatures, shock the Ravager again. They can put Dragon God down to one, and that's assuming they don't have anything else also. Did we flood constantly? Well we just kept on losing games because we didn't have any lands. I just lost a bunch of games in a row of not having any lands, and now it's just all lands. Yeah, so they're prioritizing killing the Dragon God here over the Ravager. We'll see what else they got in their hand. Yield but a drop of power. Hmm. Conceivable. Really? They let their 1-3 die? For that? I walk a righteous path. Good draw step. I believe in you. That's a good draw step, too.
Not again. I wouldn't mind them drawing, you know, like a, a pump spell here. A land or a pump spell. Is it pump spell we'd be able to make them discard? Lot of shocks in there. All right, game number three. Let's see what we got. Get some good discard, removal, land drops. Johnny. No, we have to rest for a Johnny. Definitely worried about trying to kill this thing with Cry of the Carnarium. I think we'd probably just want to kill it with Noxious Grasp. No creature. No threat. I'll feel bad if they draw Gideon. I mean, I guess I didn't really have a choice because Reckless Rage would have saved their. Th no, Reckless Rage would not. They couldn't even play Reckless Rage. What am I? What am I saying? But keeping Cry because of Adanto Vanguard, they probably have more Adanto Vanguards than Gideons. Okay. Doesn't work. This says creature or planeswalker. Does not get rid of Escanta. But sometimes you just want to scry, you know? Gotta get that scry. They can't cast this, right? Yeah, they they have to. Hmm. Still just use this. Come on, Dragon God. No. Punished. Yeah, Reckless needs the two targets, but they could have had some other pump spell that would have saved their their thing. I 
I like the duress here, but I'm putting that in the graveyard so that it's the seventh card so that we get to transform the Ascanta. Because obviously activating Ascanta every turn is going to be really good for us. Yeah, that's not good, Kitty. All right, let's find Ritual Set. That was really good for them. Hey, Gator Frank. That was probably about the only way I could lose this whenever I Noxious, Noxious Grasp their 2-2 and about to flip this as Kanta as if their one card we didn't know about was Feather and then if their draw step was... God's willing, but it was. We're gonna need Soot. Hmm. Gator Frank with that resub for half a year. Thank you so much, our eighth sub of the day. Thank you very much there. Yeah, if I go if I go Thought Erasure to try to remove God's Willing, they like we would Thought Erasure away the Defiant Strike though, which is not bad. But I'd rather just draw some more cards and try to get some more ammunition. My schemes have been foiled. My intellect is without limit. Really wish I had Nicol Bolas's internet. <laughs> yeah, that's why they had that prison realm out there. I had to have that to sacrifice. Ow. Good call. Hey, Ivy. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub there. I appreciate that. Alright, certainly hoping they don't have... Don't have the indestructible card. Let's see if we find duress here first. There's negate. Ivy with our night sub of the day. We are one away from our sub goal now. So obviously hindsight is 2020. But if I don't noxious grasp, we are in a very good spot to win this game. But I did. And then they had their last card was Feather, and the card they drew for turn was God's Willing. And then all of this stuff happened, and their very next card was Defiant Strike, and they got to draw a million cards. <sighs> Bleh. Hey, what's up? Alpha Buddha getting that gifted sub from QQ Image. I'll get those hype boats in the chat. That's a sub goal. 
Thanks there, QQ. Okay. Now, I I don't want to use both of these cards on these on two creatures, but it looks like that's maybe what we need to do. I mean, Dreadhorde Darkness doesn't have anything for now, but with Defiant Strike, it does. We'll just play both of our cards. That one kills that thing. This one kills this thing. And then we'll get this as Kanta in play. Gonna get a stop on our upkeep in, t in in case we are really desperate, which Vanguard kind of makes us really desperate. Oh, I guess I have to activate this one first. I can't do that and then activate and then do that. Right, that's how that works. Uh, well, I guess I'm gonna decline then. Ooh. Not as desperate now. Because, you know, I, I can activate this as Kanta and then flip and then get a new as Kanta to activate again. If need be. At a different point in time. Stay by the lake. Went too fast. So both Kefnets are down there. Now two of our four Ravagers are down there. I'm going to let them draw their card for turn, honestly. First. So I don't want them to... Honestly, I don't want them to get, like, the scry stuff. I kind of expect them to have... I kind of expect them to have two God's Willings. Anyway. I don't, I don't want them to scry for this turn. Okay, so they kept something on top. No! That's lethal. Well, nothing we can do about it. Darn, I thought we had that one in the bag.
that three card. Hey, what's up, HXC? That three card combination. Those three draws in a row. A feather, then God's willing, then defiant strike to just draw a million cards. That was really, really rough. Even if that three card combination was just like one turn down the line in the chain, we would have had the Ascanta flipped before that and been better off. But they got us. So we're going to go first. We're going to be picking up a pack because we hit our sub goal there. So we're buying a pack and cracking it open. Of course, always trying to open up mythics. They are rarer than rares. Gargos. Probably got some more Gargoses to open. All right, so last time, you know, last time we did a lot better than what we did this time with the deck. We went 4-1 last time, 2-3 this time. But that's the thing about Grixis is like these, some of those losses are just like real close. They could have gone the other way kind of thing. You know, it's basically do you stabilize or not. I think the card that has been the least impressive in here, maybe my least favorite card, has honestly been the end to the God Eternals. This feels like this is too slow in the metagame, and especially with all these, ag like all the aggro decks are just playing a, a bunch of Adanto Vanguards also. This has been my least favorite card in the deck. I think taking these out for um, a couple more cheaper removal spells that help us out. Like, no, no, no chance I'm ever playing Disfigure. It's Legion's End is the card. Of, I don't know if I want Legion's End main deck or not, though. But Legion's End is the card. It's just whether or not this is main deck or sideboard. No, probably main like like what deck is Legion's End bad against? There's not many. Cause he even gets rid of like the the crises and everything. It's even good you know, it's good against Hero Precinct one also. There's just not really any decks that Legion's End's not good against. Yeah, then obviously like your your pure control deck, but there's there's no deck that plays creatures that Legion Zen's not good. Yeah, also good against the Field of the Deads. I think that's the card that if those enter the God Eternals or Legion's Ends, I think that's that's like makes just such a huge difference. And I think that could really turn around some of those aggro matches that we just lost. So maybe just making that one little change could could be a big thing. It is sorcery speed against the flash decks, but still it gets rid of a big, you know, Brineborn Cutthroat can get a little bigger and it gets rid of that thing. And just looking at their hand, obviously for for a Grixis deck, knowing what's in your opponent's hand is all, is also always very good and sometimes you get other things like this is just an awesome card. Yeah, the the big creature, the green creature decks are all playing like the mana creatures, the Legion's End hits, or like Hydroid Crasis, or Wild Growth Walker, or Voracious Hydra, the new Hydra also hits that too. So I think I think that's like one one change that I think could make a big a big difference in the deck. The Enter the God Eternals are just too slow and they don't they don't do anything. Um, yeah, Legion's End is too good. So 
there we go. That's Grixis Control. Um, so even though we just went 2-3 here, we played some close ones, and, you know, we lost to some aggro decks, but I think that that, that change of taking out Enter the God Eternals, putting in Legion's End, I think that could be a really helpful change to the deck moving forward. Um, and no, I'm not really interested in playing like the, the six mana Planeswalkers, Ugin, Chandra, all that kind of stuff. I don't think they're really necessary. I think the metagame is so aggressive right now that you want to... I, I like where this is at of like all, like just a lot of anti-aggro kind of stuff. And honestly, against against control... I think it's just, I think that bringing in the war bosses is probably puts us in a better spot. We saw how good war boss was in the control matchup that we had. I don't think that we really need like that six mana haymaker with the, the planeswalker. The command, the dread horde was, was awesome for us. It really was. Um, yeah, it was, it was really good for us. So definitely keeping that. Um, I think the Kefnet's good. I think Kevnet's just a good blocker and also pressures Planeswalkers and also gives us a clock against the aggro decks. Yeah, I, I'm very happy with the Kefnets. I like them quite a bit. Because Blight Beetle's not a playable card. It's not good against anything. Um, but there we go. That's Grixis Control. Uh, yeah. I, I'm i higher on this deck than what the 2-3 record may uh, indicate. I think that putting in the Legion's Ends can honestly make a, bi a big difference here. All right, so that's uh, Grixis Control. If you're watching the video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.